passive with modals. For more information, turn in your textbook to page 269 and look at chart 10.5. Passive with modals is very easy. The passive is often used with modals. In order to make a sentence with passive and a modal, you need to use the modal plus the verb be plus the past participle. All you need to use is be. You don't change the form of be. If you remember from last session when we studied modals, we talked about it's the base form of the verb that goes after the modal. You don't change the form of the verb at all. It's just the modal and the verb. Nothing special. The same here. You use the modal and be. No other form of be. For instance, your homework must be finished by 7 o'clock. You use must, the modal, plus be, plus the past participle, finished. The plants should be watered every day. Modal is should, plus be, plus the past participle, watered. Now it's your turn. Read the two sentences I have below. Change them from active to passive with a modal. Now let's look at the answers. Someone has to visit my grandmother every day because she is sick. Has to is the modal, so we use that at the beginning. A form of the verb be, and then the past participle of the verb visit, which is visited. So, my grandmother has to be visited every day because she is sick. Someone must eat these eggs before they expire. We use the modal must plus the verb be plus the past participle of the verb eat, which is eaten. So, these eggs must be eaten before they expire. For more practice, do exercise 19 on page 269.